Hello and welcome to High Vibe Astrology. This is Jennifer. This video is about the Sagittarius full moon on January 3rd, 2023. As I look at this chart, we can see a very definitive X in the center of the wheel. And what popped into my head is X marks the spot for whatever it is that we are wanting to grow into, expand into, have the universe supporting us. And really, the universe is always supporting us. It's a matter of, are we recognizing how the universe is supporting us on our journey towards what we truly desire and allowing what is dead about our past to finally die, to finally be done. And we just have three more degrees of the Scorpio South Node, which is going to finish up in mid-July. So the past and past trauma, everything associated with shadow projection, power struggles, abuse of life force energy, abuse of power in all of its forms, these things are finally leaving our lives and leaving this planet. So this is a very, very auspicious time to, in our own lives, take note of where we are allowing the past to still invade our present moment and therefore, you know, veer us off course from this focal point. Because the full moon is in the sign of Sagittarius, it is ruled by Jupiter. And we have both the full moon, 13 degrees of Sag, of course, opposite the sun at 13 Gemini. That is one leg of the X. And the other one is the south node in Scorpio, which is connecting to the north node in Taurus conjunct Jupiter. Jupiter, again, is the ruler of this Sagittarius full moon. So we have these polarities going on, and it's time to take definitive action toward what we want and stay focused on what we want rather than allowing anything from our past that has obstructed growth and expansion in a particular area of our lives to take hold, to have any say whatsoever anymore in our lives and on our journey in this experience. So I have included here the general themes for each sign and describing the area of life where you're going to feel the energy of the Sagittarius full moon, as well as the ruler Jupiter's presence and its conjunction to the North Node, calling you toward growth and expansion, more faith, more optimism, faith in yourself too, and being willing to take a risk. What area of life is that impacting? So both, there are two areas for you to consider. And um, so please, you know, pause the video and look at this and really think about it. And if you need to know what those houses mean, you can reach me by visiting my website, soundworksbygale.com, and we can look at your astrology. The other dynamic that is involved in the center of this X is, of course, the opposition from Pluto to Mars and Venus. So they're both creating an opposition to Pluto with a two-degree orb, Venus on one side, Mars on the other, and Venus and Mars are also conjunct. It's an out-of-sign conjunction. Venus is the feminine planet in a feminine sign wanting to give and receive nurturance. That's Cancer. Mars is the masculine planet, and it's in a masculine sign, Leo, wanting to take courage, to take decisive action, to tune into the heart center and really allow that to guide us. But it's also having the courage to take risks, and it is making a trine to this Sagittarius full moon. But the thing to keep in mind is that we have the masculine and feminine forces, yang yin, however you want to consider this, working in union, even though they're opposing Pluto, they're working in concert to receive energy from Pluto to be empowered and use our life force energy, which is kundalini, god force, whatever you want to call it. It is receiving that empowerment to use for positive results rather than negative. 
we in our own individual lives can take action to simply allow a natural death of the things that no longer serve us and to focus on what we truly want. The other interesting thing is that the sun in Gemini is ruled by Mercury. We find Mercury also in the sign of Taurus at 19 degrees, conjunct Uranus at 20 degrees of Taurus. So um, we may have experienced interruptions, Uranus, within how our mind operates or our thought processes and even computer and technology communication. It, it's almost, um, I mean, I've experienced this almost a little bit like Mercury retrograde, but I think it's the interruptions that Mercury is receiving from Uranus. But the other way that this is going to impact us in this chart with Sun at 13 Gemini is being surprised at times, maybe surprised by our own thought process and what we are willing to communicate, perhaps. But there are these epiphanies that we have that come from the awakening of Uranus. And then um, Mercury is helping us communicate that in a peaceful rather common sense sort of way. That's what Taurus is about. And because Mercury rules this, the sun in Gemini, the sun as it receives information, inspiration, new ideas and expansion from the full moon in Sag, it is now, you know, it has to decide. um, Gemini is about weighing the pros and cons, having that debate within our own mind, black or white, do I do this or do I not? And then making a decision, you know, and this chart dynamic of Pluto in opposition to Mars and Venus is also helping us be empowered, feel empowered and empower others to really make the change that we are being called to make for our highest good and for the highest good of those in our lives. So those are the basics for this Sagittarius full moon chart. As always, there are other aspects, but I'm not going to go into them here. I will include them in the affirmations and frequencies that follow. Please continue liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please let me know how you like the affirmations and the frequencies. I always read your comments. I appreciate your support of this channel. And I will see you next time. Wishing you well until then. This is Jennifer. Sun, full moon, and Jupiter for the Sagittarius full moon. Former fears fall away easily and naturally as I give myself permission to step out of my comfort zone and move toward greater love and expansion. Sun, full moon, and Chiron for the trine and sextile. The universe brings a much better life for me when I trust the natural endings and beginnings that are unfolding in my life right now. Mercury and Uranus for the conjunction. My words have the power to generate change that awakens greater consciousness in my own life and those around me. Venus, Mars, and Jupiter for the square from Jupiter to Venus and Mars. 
The abundance of the universe unfolds naturally when I understand the power of uniting divine masculine and feminine energies for the greater good. Venus, Neptune, and Sedna for the trine and sextile. When I remember that 99% of all reality remains in the unseen realm, I am less fearful of what is and use my focus to create the highest outcome for myself and those around me. Venus, Mars, and Pluto for the opposition. I empower the best choices in my own life and those around me when I honor and balance the divine masculine and feminine energies within. Saturn, Jupiter, and the North Node for the sextile from Saturn. The power of manifesting what is truly beneficial in my life and the world around me depends upon my focus and faith. Jupiter, North Node, and Pluto for the square from Pluto. To empower others with faith and optimism invokes the power of love and arms the world with divine justice. 